This video is for the revision of quantitative electrolysis. So in an electrolytic cell here, um, the mass deposited here or here, mass is directly proportional to the charge that passed here. And this charge is equal to I times T. I being the current and T is how long did you leave this circuit on? This Q is also equal to NF. N is the mole of electrons that was involved in this circuit. And F is the Faraday constant, which is given in the data booklet as 96500 coulombs per mole. So number of Faradays required to discharge uh, one mole of an ion in an electrode, that would be the number of charge on that ion. So what does that mean? So if I have sodium, I will need one Faraday to get a mole of sodium. And if I have magnesium, I would need two Faradays to deposit one mole of magnesium. If I've got um, gold in three plus, I'll need three Faradays to deposit a mole of gold. And what is that Faraday that we were talking about? It's the charge carried by a mole of electrons, which is 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. Let's discuss an example here. So a current of 0 0.5 ampere, so that's the current, is passed through a solution of silver nitrate, EGNO3. For 15 minutes, we're going to change that to, we're going to convert it to seconds later. So the electrons are moving this direction, therefore I will get AG here. And the mass is proportional to Q, as we discussed just now, which is equal to IT. Okay, so the working is here. Q equals to IT. We have our I and T. I converted it to seconds. And so this is my Q. This is the charge, this is the number of charge in coulombs that pass this circuit. Since Q also equals to an F, remember this N here is um, the mole for this electron here, not the mole of product of the material that is formed there. So in this equation, just so happen that it is one to one, so we can do it uh, very simply. But I'll show you another example where it's not one is to one. So this N here, just keep in mind that is this electron, the mole of this electron, not the mole of uh, silver that is formed. Okay, so Q over F equals to that mole of electrons. So um, I put a working here. Q over F equals to that mole. Okay, so I'm going to put more figures. Okay, you don't actually need so many figures, but I'm going to put more figures. Uh, I'm just going to round off at the end when I have my answer. Okay, because this equation, um, the electrons to the AG is one is to one. Therefore, um, I would also have that number of moles of AG. And multiply its MR, I'm going to get the mass. Okay, so I made the MR a little bit more precise from the data booklet, 107.87. And my answer here would be 0 0.503 in three significant figures. Still the same question, but this time I'm gonna add a second beaker um, connected in series with my silver nitrate beaker. Still the same current, same time, uh, how long did I leave the circuit on? And let's see, in this second beaker, there is nickel sulfate and nickel is not one-to-one -one with its electrons. So uh, nickel equation would be nickel to plus, plus two, Electrons, so two Faradays is needed to deposit one mole of nickel. Okay, so I need more electrons here to deposit a mole of nickel. So this time we're going to calculate how much nickel will be deposited. So up to this part, 
it's still the same as this part of the question. So I'm still gonna get 0 0.0046632 um, electrons here. It's the same one. But the ratio here is not the same. It's two is to one. So since electron to nickel is two is to one, so 0 0.004632 is to 0 0.00, 0 0.00233 I'll just put more figures, one, six. So then that figure, multiply the MR from the data booklet. So, so I'm going to get 0 0.136841. Okay, I'm just going to end at seven. We can also determine the Faraday constant or the Avoga Avogadro constant um, by using this circuit information. So it's possible. So let's look at the question here. It's given I here. They gave us the time. We need to convert this to seconds. And they gave us this volume so that we can convert it to moles later. And let's start the working by Q equals to IT. So 32 times 60. Um, and then I add another 10 seconds. So this is my time. And I got 482.5 coulombs. The mole of hydrogen gas evolved was 56 centimeter cubes. So I'm going to use that value 56 and divide 22.7 times 10 to the power of 3. This one can be gotten from the data booklet. And so I get the moles here. This is the moles of hydrogen gas, not the mole of electrons here. So I do need to uh, calculate the mole of electrons to use NF equals to Q. So by ratio, two is to one. So 0 0.002467 multiplied by two is 0 0.004934. So that's my N here. Using this equation next, so NF equals to Q. So Faraday constant equal to, I'm gonna get a slightly different uh, value that's not from the data booklet. There's a calculated value. So by using F equals to LE, my L would be 6.11. That's 10 to the power of 23. So not exactly the Avogadro constant that we had from the data booklet, but this is our answer.